guys welcome back to world illuminator 11 and happy full moon everyone we've got the full moon in virgo today so i am still at my sister's house but it's just me today um i am working from here and i am going to be picking up ava a bit later on but i just wanted to jump on and do a message for everyone you know we've got the full moon in virgo but also before i get into that just to say thank you so much to everyone who's left a message a comment um also sent healing energy positive healing energy love and you know and all the support and all the messages that you've sent in relation to my nephew he is still in the hospital but it is looking like they are going to discharge him today they've really not been able to identify exactly what the problem is they've done all sorts of different tests but they've just not been able to work out what is actually causing um you know the pain that he has and being sick and all this but you know they are going to let him out and you know and just hope that with time he is going to get better i mean they've done all the tests that they could but you know we keep praying and trusting and having faith it was really powerful when i got out of um you know the hospital and so that 222 that i posted because that is all about having faith you know and i just feel that this is a big message that's been coming through i talked about that before as well that i've been seeing 222 a lot over the past um week of a bit over a week now and uh, quite a number of you have also commented in relation to that you know that you've been seeing that 222 and i feel that it's a powerful message that's coming in and this full moon that we have as well today is a powerful full moon it's really about helping us to step up more when it comes to our path you know when it comes to your own spiritual path and to really sort of you know move forward in your faith and your trust in the universe and i really felt that in relation to what is going on with my uh with my nephew at the moment that was really about having faith that the universe has got him that he is protected the angels have got him and, you know, and this message is really, you know, 222 is a me message about that balance and, and you know, and harmony coming in as well. And I feel that, you know, this message is coming in for all of us, you know, to it because it is talking about you getting more into that place of that inner balance and harmony, you know, within yourself, really getting into that place of finding more of that balance and, and you know, and having that harmony within your inner being. And, you know, as you're moving forward on your path and also, you know, you're working in harmony or in, with, in flow with the universe in everything that you do, releasing anything that no longer serves you, which is what the power of this full moon is bringing in. It's a powerful full moon to help you to release all that you need to let go of, all that is holding you back from truly stepping up and moving forward on your spiritual path. So, you know, as you're releasing that and also with this 222 that we've been seeing it's more about stepping more into the place of being more in flow and harmony with the universe and also trusting more in the universe having that faith in the universe that all the things that you've asked for when it comes to your twin flame journey, when it comes to other areas of your life, to have faith that it is all coming in for you. The more you're releasing the fears and the things that hold you back, the more you step up more into that place of having that faith. So I really feel that that message is coming in. If you're seeing 222, it's about you really stepping up more into that faith. And this full moon that we have, it's about releasing. It's like a way of like you are sort of rewriting your story, rewriting your life you know, on your spiritual path by letting go of the things that need to go and truly stepping up more into the place of faith and truly moving forward as well when it comes to your spiritual path, when it comes to becoming more aligned and more in balance within yourself and, you know, having more of that harmony within. It is also about, you know, getting into the place of having positive thoughts, you know, remembering that you are the creator of your life. So the more you're thinking those positive thoughts, the more you can bring in the things that you desire. Working in harmony, working in flow with the universe, because the universe is there to help you to bring in the things that you desire. So that 222 is really about things going on within you. It's about your working with the universe, you know, to bring in the things that you desire by staying in flow with the universe, 
by you being in the place of thinking positive thoughts, by you having faith that the universe will bring in the things that you desire. And it is also about bringing in and creating more of that harmony and balance as well when it comes to your twin flame journey with your twin. So, you know, that is being created. The more you are releasing and letting go of the things that hold you back, the more you're letting go of the fear and stepping more into the place of faith. It's like it's helping to bring in more of that harmony as well when it comes to your journey. And also the more you're getting into the place of finding that balance and harmony within, that is helping your journey because everything on your journey is not about your divine masculine or the other person. It's about you. And it's about what is going on with you within. So the more you find that balance and harmony, which I really feel that 222 was really bring, is really bringing in, that it's about you getting more into the place of that harmony within, that is also going to, that is also working to create and bring in balance and harmony when it comes to your journey as well. So I really feel 222 is talking to us all you know when it comes to our own inner being when it comes to our relationship with the universe flowing with the universe having faith in the universe trusting in the universe and also when it comes to bringing in more of that balance and harmony when it comes to your twin flame journey so it's on those three levels and it's also about you just trusting that everything is falling into place as it is meant to so it's a powerful message that's really coming in for you and the full moon that we have today is also really powerful because it's there to help you to release anything else that is still in the way and stopping you from getting into the place of that full you know unwavering faith anything that is holding you back anything that you need to release when it comes to your own emotions when it comes to things that are going on with you so you find more of that balance and that harmony within and it is also about releasing things that are going on in your 3d world that no longer serve you that are holding you back from stepping up more into your power as you're moving forward as well on your path it's really sort of like this full moon in virgo is really sort of releasing things so that we can truly move forward and step up more when it comes to our spiritual path. And the more you're getting more into the place of balance and harmony within, the more you are moving higher as well and moving forward as well on your spiritual path. So that was the message in relation to 222, but also the power of this full moon. So use the today to really be in a place of seeing what you need to release what you need to let go of because as i said it's like it's a time for you to kind of like rewrite your story as you step up into who you truly are you know and releasing the things that have been holding you back and the power of this full moon is there to help you to be able to do that is there to help you to release whatever it is that is still that is no longer serving you when it comes to your own path and it is also there to help you to really sort of think about things that need to go, things that are not working for you anymore, things that you don't need to take forward with you as you're moving into a higher path, onto a higher part of your spiritual path. So it's really about making time maybe for a full moon ritual, you know, for doing something for yourself that will help you to just work through releasing what needs to go. So you can open up space to keep moving forward on your path. And, you know, and when I saw the 222 as well yesterday, what I really got as well was it's about that faith in the universe that the universe has got, you know, and not being shaken by things that are going on because, you know, you may have certain things going on in your life as well, you know, whereby, you know, there's craziness happening. You know, I've had this whole thing with my nephew happening and, you know, these are things going on outside, you know, in your, in your life or outside of you. And it's about how you stay in the balance and harmony within despite what is going on around you you know that's what is sort of coming in to for you to be able to see that you know you have the balance and harmony within but no matter what is happening in your outside world 
you know, things that are going on outside of you that you have no control over. You are staying in the place of that inner balance and harmony. So that's the message that's coming through with that. So what we are going to do, I only have three decks. I bought only a few decks with me and we are going to see what messages are coming through for the divine feminines, what messages are coming through for the divine masculines and also for the journey with the power of this woman. So we've got the divine feminine messages, Tarot. So thank you, angels, with the power of this woman. What messages are coming through for the divine feminines what is coming through for the divine feminines okay so we've got these cards here and then thank you angels what is coming through for the divine masculines with the power of this full moon what's coming through for the divine masculines thank you angels so a few cards here for the divine masculines as well and then what is coming through for the journey as well thank you angels what's coming through for the journey with the power of this full moon right Okay, so let's see the cards that have come out here. So for you, the Divine Feminine, I'm just going to open these cards out and see what's happening here. So the first card that we've got, we've got the Tower card. And it says here, everything happens for my highest good. Changes happen to move things forward. I am finding peace with that. So this is about you knowing that whatever may be going on in your life, maybe there are certain things that are kind of falling apart, you know, a tower moment happening. You know, this is all happening for your highest good. As I said, for me, I really got the message that, you know, things happening with my nephew and having to run around and do all these things, you know, looking after my niece, looking after my nephew, being in hospital with him. It's about seeing that I am in the place of the balance and harmony within so that it doesn't shake me about too much when it comes to my own path. And I feel that this is what you're being shown. Whatever may be going on in your life, they are happening for your highest good for you to you know to work through if it things then shake you up to work through that so that you stand in the place of that balance and harmony within so it's all happening for you to help you to be able to move forward when it comes to your own path and any changes that are happening any tower moments that are occurring in your life it is all happening to help to move you forward you know and you find peace with that you find peace in the things that you cannot control outside of you and you have peace in knowing that you have the universe there to help you but also you are in a peaceful place already within so that it doesn't really you know sort of displace you when it comes to your own life you stay in the place of that balance and work through things that are going on from a more of a balanced place so whatever changes may be going on in your life right now know that they're happening for you to help you to be able to move forward and in everything that's happening strength has come out i gain my power from above so through whatever it is that's going on as you face this tower moment, know that you have the power from above, the universe there with you, helping you through all this. And as you're moving forward on your path, you also have that strength from the creator to help you to be able to move forward. We also have the Hierophant that has come out. I am making a commitment to my higher path. And what I'm really getting with this is that, you know, as I said, it's like you are sort of in this place of rewriting your story as you move up you know to a higher place when it comes to your own spiritual path and this is about you making that commitment to your path you know to really sort of let go with the power of this woman of anything that is holding you back from moving forward on your path you know anything that is there in the way of you being able to do this anything that no longer serves you release it with the power of this full moon as you make your commitment to your higher path so you know anything that's distracting you anything that is holding you back this is the time to release it so that you can truly step up and you know and really sort of keep moving forward on your path making that commitment to your higher path you know your ascension is like the most important thing to help you to move forward it is what will help you to get more into the place of that balance to that alignment as well even for the for the love that you desire the things that you desire to come in so it's about you making that commitment to your higher path the next card that has come out for you the divine feminine so we've got here the chariot and it says i feel more in control of my life so that's about having more of that balance you know as you're finding that balance within 
and harmony within that helps you to be more in that place of control when it comes to your life no matter what may be going on outside of you no matter what is happening the more you are in the place of the balance you know that helps you to feel more in control of your life as well so everything is about what's going on within you the next card that has come out is the king of pentacles i know that you want to treat me you i know that you want to treat me right so this is about you knowing that you know your divine masculine wants to treat you right but for them to be able to do so they have to work through certain things for themselves find that balance and harmony within themselves and they are working through this right now you know so if you're seeing two 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 you that is also meaning that the more you're finding balance and harmony within that will also help your divine masculine to find that within themselves and this full moon is also there to help them to release what needs to go so that they can be able to get into that place of treating you right and you know that they want to do this they just need to release what is holding them back the fears and you know things of the past so powerful card so you know that your divine masculine wants to treat you right the last card that came out for you the divine feminine the fool i am embracing the life of my dreams so you're being shown here that the life of your dreams is here be happy came through in the message that came through with ava yesterday embrace this life you know and there is more that is coming in for you it's like a new beginning is coming in with the fool you know this full moon is there to help to release things of the past as you rewrite your story as you step up into more of who you truly are that's bringing in new beginnings so this is about you embracing the life of your dreams embrace the life of your dreams by letting go of the things that no longer serve you with the power of this full moon so you can truly open up to the energy that's coming in of new beginnings and of those that life of your dreams you know of the love that you desire as well as your divine masculine moves forward towards you so you're being sure there is a new beginning that's coming in for you and things are moving forward to help you to be able to do so so work on releasing what needs to go and then the cards that came out for the divine masculines as well so the first card that we've got here is the page of swords and they're saying to you i am not intentionally ignoring you i am working out what to say and how to say it so as they are quiet right now this is not really about them just saying oh i'm just going to ignore you intentionally they are working through through the working through things in their own life working out what to say to you and how to say it you know is they they or they have so much that they're dealing with i feel that they're dealing with a lot in their own life but also you know the fears of things that have happened in the past the way they've acted before and they are trying to find the right words so they are wanting you to know that it's not about them intentionally ignoring you they are working out what to say and how to say it the next card that has come out is the three of swords and it says i'm finding it hard to be away from you right now but i know that i'm healing so you know your divine masculine is healing right now you know they, they they feel the pain of not being with you you know they would love to be with you but and they're finding it hard to not be with you you know but they're saying to you but i know that i'm healing during this time that we are apart it's the time for me to heal the time for me to release what the fears and all the things that i need to let go of so that i can be free to be with you you know the fears that stop them from being able to communicate with you and move forward towards this love so they they are not fine it's not easy for them as well you know to be away from you but they know that this is the time for them to heal and they are also saying to you seven of cups has come out i have choices to make but i will always choose you so in their life you know there's choices to make you know choices about things that they need to do what's going on in their life you know certain fears that come up all these sort of things that they have to deal with but they're saying i will always choose you because when it comes to this love you know after they let go of the things that holds them back you know they will always choose you they will come back home to you so that's what they're saying to you as well the next card that we have is the temperance card and it says i must do things at my own pace because that is how i'll follow through on my plans so your divine masculine is saying to you this is about having patience they have to do things at their own pace that's the only way that they can get through the lessons that they need to get through learn the things that they need to learn you know experience the things that they need to experience for their own soul growth everything happens has to happen at their own pace so it's about you having patience it's about them learning to have patience as well 
when it comes to their own life and you know and but that is the only way that they'll be able to follow through on their plans and the plans are about moving forward towards you because you know they'll always choose you when it comes to this life and then the last card that has come out is the wheel of fortune i trust that we are meant to be so this is about fate and destiny it's fate and destiny you're meant to be your divine masculine is saying i trust we are meant to be so this is showing you that everything will fall into place in the right divine timing they have to work through certain things in their own life first and you know and do things at their own pace but you are meant to be and at the right time you will be so that's the message that's coming through and the wheel of fortune is showing you that things are moving forward at the time that they are moving forward to help to bring in the two of you because you are meant to be and they will always choose you and they are also missing you during this time that you are not in communication okay and then the cards that came out for the journey so what we've got here eight of cups which is a powerful card and this is for both of you time to move on so you know with the power of this full moon this is about releasing letting go of the things that are holding you back it's time to move on from those things time to let go of whatever it is that you need to let go of and this is the energy for both you and your divine masculine for you think about what is not working anymore what is not serving you anymore and release those things you know it can be emotions it can be things in your 3d world habits whatever it is and i feel that your divine masculine is working through doing that as well moving on from what no longer serves them the next card that has come out is the three of swords so this came out for the divine masculine as well separation is illusion see past the pain and focus on the growth learn to surrender and release control so you know it's an illusion that you are separate anyways just on the physical level but you know it's it's about working through seeing past the pain if you're holding on to pain of this you know it's about seeing past the pain your divine masculine is saying it's not easy for me but i know i am healing so it's a time of healing for them so you know for you focus on the growth and you know and i feel your divine masculine is also working on focusing on their own growth learning to surrender and release control so surrender release control give it to the creator and trust that it will all come in at the right time seven of pentacles has also come out this is about setting your intentions so for the things that you desire as you release with the power of this full moon what needs to go set intentions for what it is that you're wanting to bring into your life we also have here the six of wands and it says you will achieve success remember who helped you get there and stay grateful so you're being shown here that when it comes to this love that you desire success will come in you will achieve that success so it's about continuing to keep moving forward be grateful for your journey be grateful for your divine masculine who's helping you to release what needs to go be grateful for the creator helping you to be able to get the, the angels you know be grateful for to yourself because you're helping yourself to get there so that's the message that's coming through but you're being shown that you will reach success hermit card has also come out going within gives answers clarity direction and strength and this day may be a powerful day to go within you know to make some time for you to get answers what do you need to release what do you need what is coming up for you in terms of emotions you know and really working on releasing that you know and i am going to be going home this evening i'm going to make it time for me to really sort of work on my own path because i've been running around a lot you know so time to go within so that's the message that's coming through going within will give you answers clarity direction and strength the next card that we have as well is strength you are tougher than any challenge that you are facing so you know oh, that is facing you so whatever you're facing whatever your divine masculine is facing you're tougher you're both tougher than that you can get through it come out on the other side with victory of success and coming together so you're both tougher than that your divine masculine may be taking time for themselves as well more in hermit mode as they're working through releasing the things that need to go and you know and they're also gaining strength to keep moving forward as well on their path the next card that we've got is the page of cups communication is being restored so you know as you find more balance within become uh, more harmony within yourself as i said before that also helps when it comes to bringing in and creating balance when it comes to your relationship with your twin 
So you're being shown here that that is going to help and communication is being restored. So, you know, they're not intentionally ignoring you. They're working out what to say and you're being shown that communication is being restored. So you're being helped as well from above so that that communication can come in. And the last card that has come out is the nine of pentacles. That's the card of self-love. Enjoy your life. And this message came through as well in the messages that came through from Ava yesterday in her reading, the angel reading. If you haven't checked out that video do check it out life is beautiful enjoy your life or something along those lines and that's what you're being asked you know and that's why you're working on releasing the things that are holding you back for both you and your divine masculine so you can get into the place of truly loving your life and you know your divine masculine working on loving themselves and their life you know so that they can be able to move forward even towards the things that they truly desire towards their heart's desires rather than following the, ma the mind too much but this is about you loving yourself doing things for you making time for yourself you know especially on this day as well to work through releasing what needs to go maybe do a ritual for yourself a full moon bath whatever it is that is there to be there for you to take care of yourself it's a really healing uh full moon that we have and it's about you being there for you you know work through things that you need to work through that's why the hermit card came out it's like a time of healing by releasing what needs to go so make time for yourself to truly receive the healing that's coming through with this full moon and you know and that will help you to move forward as well you know to be able to enjoy your life even more because you deserve to live a life of joy a life that you enjoy so powerful messages coming through and i wish you a happy full moon everyone and i'll see you on the next video love peace positivity and life